<laughs> for sounds. Uh, we're loving the chat right now. <laughs> Sorry about our sound leveling issues there. Yeah. That's right. You're lucky to have sound at all. Damn it. <laughs> we're pretty stoked to have the pictures on top of the video. Yeah, we're hoping guys, that would appease come you guys. On. Jeez. There's those buttons, or you maybe have a dial that adjusts the volume. It can go up or down that way as yeah. well, I find. So. <laughs> Yep, 420, that's our, that's Vancouver's event. That's Pretty our answer impressive. to that. I kind of am a little sad that I missed it. it it's a big kind deal. Of, it's a big deal. The video yeah, almost does it for me, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I, th that gives you a good idea of it. We should do a, a parade or similar thing to Toronto. Like, we have the parade on May 5th. Yeah. But yeah. for some reason, there's just not the same turnout. There should be a 420 parade well, that ends at the Art mm -hmm. You went to the march, right? No. Nope. What do we do to get year. people go to the march? Hmm. Vancouver? I don't know. I really don't know. More promotion at 420 maybe? Yeah, that would help. Because people don't know maybe. 420 is weird because it's so well known in Vancouver. It's Even like the West Coast thing. all outside of Vancouver, like the whole greater Vancouver area, people come from all over. Like, seriously. Yeah. This blunt is through. Oh, I'll roll another one. If you, you want, want an ashtray. If you have an ashtray nearby, that'd be nice. Oh, and I have one more video that I forgot about. This is the video of great controversy because they used a Beastie Boy song. Oh, and did you put it back in to show them? I, I played the Beastie Boy song. I'll play it again oh, okay. just for fun. We won't be able to hear it because of the way that this works. What? But I tried to play this Get Live song. Play it again. So watch your sound leveling, peeps. This might be loud. So I got in a lot of trouble for, for playing the Beastie Boys Get Live song on my YouTube video. I had to change it. So cool. I have a lovely seed rolling video. That it's it's good still. Seed I use rolling? Seed rolling? Seed ball rolling. I'm making oh. seed bombs. This seed is what this bombs. is. Seed bombs. Seed bombs. I gave a couple seed as a roll. gift to my mother. I think she's gonna like them. What were in them? What was in them again? There's two things in them. You could, you could put any seeds you want in seed bombs, but our seed bombs in particular had poppies and hemp, and I split them so you know you get a little bit of both. Hmm. And nice. uh, yeah, that's that's what I did. So enjoy. This is quickie, quickie video. If you guys want to make seed bombs at home, this explains it better than I can right now. Enjoy. Oh. Still coming, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure where I lost you there. Yeah, but continue uh, where you were at, like going through customs. At least tell us your experience of getting through from Vancouver um, yeah. to where you were going. No problems at all. It was quite painless. It was, um, yeah, they just waved us through when we left Canada and when we arrived in Mexico. No hic hitches at all, so good, good. couldn't have really gone any better on the way there. Um, and yeah, you did some snorkeling just, and stuff. I have, I have a picture. Yeah, I don't know we I saw can. some pretty amazing I'm stuff. To do this. Just south of where we were, which was Playa del Carmen, mm -hmm. there's a little town called Acumal, and nice. that means turtle in Mayan. Ooh. And actually, it's one of their native uh, nesting grounds. So there's cool. lots of big green sea turtles there and cool. they just hang out and they munch on all the seagrass in the bay and you can snorkel with them and you're not really supposed to touch them or anything mm -hmm. because that's, that's you just good. want to leave them alone. Yeah, there's lots of people there and stuff so you just want to leave them alone. But actually I was talking to Bob High just the other day, maybe Friday, and he was like, did you touch him? And I'm like, no, of course not. Mm -hmm. I guess and he's like, no, you're supposed to grab or... onto them and ride on their back. And I'm like, Bob, oh, Bob. no. <laughs> so no riding turtles for me anyway. <laughs> but uh, it's, yeah, they're pretty amazing. Like some reach like three, four feet in length. Awesome. And they're just like super wide. And they fly through the water, their little like flipper mm -hmm. wing feet. Thing. Yeah, I was surprised at how, yeah. how much they like stretch out in the water and yeah. it's very wing-like, for sure. <laughs> <laughs>
Duffy steals the show every time. He's he's crawled I'm really underneath to, uh, the stairs here. We should turn it around. Yeah, and see, we like, should see. Where he's digging back to Mexico. We're gonna turn it around. <laughs> Live Duffy Cam. What's Duffy doing right now? Duffy's our dog, by the way. I don't know if we filled you guys in on this. Duffy, can you see? Duffy, come here. Where are you? Come here, Duffy. Come on out, poopoos. Hi, <gasps> Duffy. Where, what were you doing? What's under there? <laughs> oh. We have no idea. Duffy's a dirty dog yeah. now. Yeah. He likes to burrow. We don't know what, what what goes on there. There must be a bit of rat in him or something. Yeah. Yeah. I'm he convinced. definitely likes to do a good little digging now and then. <laughs> He's a chihuahua. Uh, yeah. So confusing this camera. <laughs> Dogs are fun. There it's was, fun to have pets. There was chihuahuas in Mexico, but they weren't stray. They all had parents and stuff. Mm. And that's good. I, I saw a few that had like Duffy's features, mm -hmm. which are unusual. They're not like, he's not the usual like bug-eyed chihuahua that you see with the big forehead. That's true. He, he's much more handsome in my he's opinion. He's quite adorable. Um, but yeah, and um, what else did I see? When I was snorkeling, we saw some stingrays. Actually, I can't say that they were stingrays for sure. I'm not sure what type of ray they were, but maybe about one and a half to two feet wide. Not huge, but really cool. Um, yeah, I actually picked up some weed in Mexico oh, a few I have times. Pictures of the the weed you got. Yeah, you should. Sh oh, you should show the picture. Okay, of the let turtles. me let me try. Let's okay. backtrack. Okay, guys, you're, and somebody's asking about what's with the iTunes thing. The iTunes thing, I can play, like play an iTunes song. And you guys will get to hear it, and it will show you what I'm playing. So now you're hearing Beastie Boys, and it says that. Isn't that cool? Which song? It's the Get Live from Beastie Boys. Nice. This oh, is, hi. This is a song that I was meant to use in one of my YouTube videos, um, but YouTube wouldn't let me. So I had to change it to oh, just a more right. generic all, thing. Like, yeah, my seed ball video. The music. It would have literally been banned in every country across the world if I had played it. Oh, so that's why I'm playing it now. So fuck you, YouTube, and your stupid music restrictions. Like, suck balls. She wasn't trying to say that no, she made the song no. or anything. Exactly. She's like, trying to promote I was giving the props Beastie Boys. And for, you know, in memory of. Anyway, anyway, I totally have Cassie photos, and I want to show you guys. This yeah. is just part of the cam twist goodness. I got um, an underwater camera for this trip, and it was amazing. It took like really, really good photos of everything. Like, got yeah, some she really has some really sweet pictures. Turtles. Okay, let me see if I can like find this without shutting us off again. Okay, turtle picture. Yes, yes. There. Turtle picture. Yes, it's there. That's the turtle. Like, Cassie took that picture. And sorry, Cassie. Somebody asked um, where exactly you were snorkeling, and yeah. I think you might have mentioned that. But yeah, it's anything. called Akumal. Uh, it's a little town where Akumal. we were particularly. It was Akumal Bay, mm -hmm. and there's lots of dive shops and snorkeling shops where you can rent equipment on the beach. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was super cheap. Oh. It was only like twenty bucks maybe for the two of us for like as long as we even wanted. Really, just to like snorkel around yeah, in the water shallow. Yeah, for the kind of equipment thing. rental. That is pretty awesome. I got yeah. another one. You took some really good shots of the turtles. Yeah, that you saw. there's even a better one than that one. That's that. Let me see this one here. This one here is cool because you can see he's got some fish buddies that like swim underneath him. I can't underneath see anything him. here. That's oh, weird. I'm sorry, but it's he's got. Fi oh, are we gone? Are we gone again? Cam twist. No, the picture's up though. Oh, okay, we can't see anything. Oh wait, wait, wait. I wait. I know what's going on. <laughs> I think the scale is just a little too big. Let's just oh. scale it back. We'll scale it back. Oh, there we are. Okay. Oh, Duffy being all. Duffy's tacky. being adorable. He's trying to steal the show. He knows that we're talking to somebody, and he's like, "Why aren't you talking to me? We're on internet." Yeah, this is another turtle picture that Cassie took. It's most awesome. I don't, yeah. You can't really see it because we're in such a bright area. But yeah. nonetheless, that is pretty awesome. Oh, and also the monkeys. Right. See, it's all becoming fuzzy because I got back to work right away and I've forgotten about it everything. But I went to a place called the Jungle Place, mm -hmm. which was in a town that I can't even really pronounce properly, something like Chemoyu or something like mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. 
And basically, it's a German lady and her husband that when after they retired and they were traveling in Mexico, someone tried to sell them a baby spider monkey oh. on the beach. And they were mm. like, wow, why is someone trying to sell us a baby mm -hmm, spider mm -hmm, monkey? Mm -hmm. Why isn't the monkey with its mother? Yeah, where did this going monkey on? come from? And so they started looking into it. Mm -hmm. And they found out that it's a really big problem in Mexico. People stealing these monkey babies Aww. from their mom, like shooting the mother Aww. and pulling the baby off of the dead mother's corpse <laughs> and then selling it. And yeah, it's really, really bad. So they started up a sanctuary for these poor little orphan monkeys that can't, they can't live in like a normal person's house because they're monkeys and they don't, they would just like not grow up properly and they get all these problems. Mm -hmm. And then the people kill them or just put them out in the wild and they die because they can't fend for themselves. Aww. So yeah, they set up like so this, this little sanctuary awesome is what little they sanctuary did. for Aww. them. And they have their monkey family and they're all like given everything that they could possibly want and tons of space and tons of stuff to swing around on mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. lots of fresh fruit and everything that they would be eating naturally. It's awesome. And you get to go in there in their in one part of their little enclosure and the monkeys, the female ones, they can come and like interact with you at will. Like it's all open. They don't come over there unless they really want right, to. Right, right. It's just this one little section and they can just yeah. come and go and that's the and only they part do. that you guys are allowed in, right? You're not oh, allowed yeah, to like, walk in any other spots. No, we there. were totally, totally cut monkeys, off from everything Monkey else. only. Totally. Monkey and city yeah. population. They were here. really funny and cute and like, I just, yeah, I, I, I fell in love. Mom. Oh, there was one really cute hugging monkey. Yeah, the monkey totally like, like the here. little tiniest one named Victoria. She like gave me a big monkey hug. And was making this all these cute cooing noises adorable. at me. Oh yeah, it was super cute. Yeah. And this like the, oh, the monkeys are they they're all they're like male and female and stuff. Well, the ones that there. were allowed in that area are just the females because the females oh, are so like playful and cute and curious mm -hmm. but the males are kind of aggressive oh. so they like instead of like you know pulling at your fingers and stuff they like grab your hand and bite you just like mm. to see what you taste like kind of thing mm. and we were warned actually even one of the females <laughs> which surprisingly was the only one that was actually born in their facility her name was Luna and she was like really really like the princess of the whole place and they warned us that if we have like a grape or something in our hand, if our hand is closed and Luna comes around, she'll like try and open your hand. And if you don't like fully open your hand like this and give her everything that you have, she bites you. And she didn't bite anyone actually that I saw. But... That's weird. The one like that, I remember you telling me that and I yeah. thought it was weird that the one that's born in captivity, the one that's never been in the wild is the one that seems to be the most vicious with people. Yeah, she just, I don't know what it is. She's just like, it's her place. She's the, I don't know, she thinks she's the boss. <laughs> she's the boss monkey. Princess Luna. Uh, well, I, that's interesting. I like the idea that you can interact with them and that they're... Yeah. They don't ever, do they ever like re-release them or anything Never, like no. That? They're not, no. they're not ever going to be able to live in the wild, mm. unfortunately. But they, um, you know, they're going to keep the place open and find people to run it after they die. So hopefully it'll continue to be a place that... You know, even the Mexican government gives them monkeys that they really that they take I guess away they from find. people. Oh, that they take away as yeah. like people had them as pets and were taking yeah. care of them. Yeah. Monkeys would be a terrible pet to have, I think. Like, yeah, it they seems just, like a it good just idea. Wouldn't but work. No, it's a no. bad idea. They can't be like domesticated. No. It's not <clears throat> no. Not good. They just they grow up all neurotic and like they basically go crazy if you try and raise them like as a human. Sure. Sure. So, yeah, I can understand. Well, that. yeah, they they've not evolved to live in that kind no, of environment no. at they all. They swing in the trees and slide yeah. around and totally. And they do. Oh, they swing so much. Mm -hmm. It's so got some cute. cool video. They would like slide yeah. and then like slide on the on the floor and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it was like super slippery wood floors. So they'd like swing in from one of their like ball swings and slide like <laughs> I don't know like five meters across the, <laughs> the wooden floor. Oh, so funny. That's super cute. And yeah. like, what's the, uh, people are, I've seen, I'm seeing a lot of stuff about people being scared to travel to Mexico. What's your take on that? Yeah, right no, Mexico has, like, it's a huge, huge country. And there is a lot of unrest in the northern parts of Mexico, which are near, like, the border 
areas like yeah basically most of the northern parts of Mexico are like you don't really want to travel there totally actually I shouldn't say that I had a friend that just got back from in the Puerto Vallarta area and she's fine so there was no problems there mm -hmm. but um, I think mostly just like that right along the border the is American, American American border, border sure. yeah mm -hmm. but where we were which is way on the other side on, You're the, on the east, east coast border. yeah the Yucatan Peninsula is like totally fine there's nothing happening there that you need to worry about mm -hmm. And we did not feel unsafe for like one minute mm -hmm, that we were there. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, I even, mm -hmm. I traveled to the monkey place, it's called the jungle place, by myself on like their public transit van buses. Mm -hmm. It's called a colectivo. And I like basically went, walked into the town from the highway and then took a cab by myself into the jungle. Wow. And I didn't feel unsafe at all. It was like totally fun. That's good. Yeah. I really, really feel good. like um, it's a little bit... Um, I don't know if it's exaggerated, I'm sure a lot of it's true, but remember when Canada had the SARS outbreak and yeah. there was like three very old people in Toronto that died from flu yeah. and then we got like a whole countrywide travel advisory yeah. and it sort of happened to coincide with like a decriminalization bill that got tabled or was going to get tabled. Mm. And now this thing with Mexico and Mexico talking about decriminalizing small amounts like they did uh, 10 years ago under Vincente yeah. Fox. They're trying to do that wow. again. And now we're hearing all of this stuff again about, oh, don't travel to Mexico. Like it's, there's all this violence and stuff happening there. So don't go to the entire country because like in these isolated areas. Wow. I never even thought about that, Beck. You know, it's just something I think about because <gasps> Mexico is so dependent on tourism the Americans are also pretty dependent on the border crossing. Like they have to have open flow as much as oh, yeah. the Canadians and Americans need to have open flow. So they can't really punish the Mexicans by um, like the border security thing without punishing themselves a little bit. But they can definitely get to Mexico via the tour tourism industry by just like deterring people from traveling there altogether with this really amped up stuff. And if you kind of look into like further into a lot of the news stories, there's not a lot of like secondary backup. There'll be one mm -hmm. or two isolated things about people dying and it's like, I don't know, man. Like it it seems it seems exaggerated and I would still travel to Mexico, like fuck it. Yeah, and <laughs> I'm I sorry. had so many people before I went <laughs> that were like, oh, even if, uh, even if it is as bad as it seems, like whatever. Yeah, no, it's really not. Like everyone was like, oh, why are you going to Mexico? Do you want to get killed? Like they were seriously fearing for my life. Yeah. And I'm like, give me a break. It's sad. It it's, disappoints me a lot. Yeah, it's because awful. Mexico was a beautiful place to visit. I had a it's really good time really, there. Really, really awesome. The only drawback with Mexico is not the people. They're lovely, lovely people, but the cannabis there is well, really expensive for the tourists, at least. Anyway, yeah. like in my yeah. experience there, it was a lot. And it wasn't that. It was okay, but it wasn't great. It wasn't worth what I paid for it. You get no. this. Um, I picked up weed three times off three different people. And each time I paid the same amount, which was 1,500. Oh, I have a weed, I have the weed picture. Okay, cool. I'll show them the weed as you speak of it. 1,500 pesos works out to like basically like 130 bucks approximately right now. And it's funny because the first time. I basically got maybe four or five grams for that price, 100, or sorry, 1,500 pesos. And we were like, holy shit, this is <laughs> fucking expensive. That it's is crazy. Really expensive. That's like, you know, $30 per gram. Mm. And it's not like really nice stuff either. It's like, oh, here's a picture. Finally. Check it out. There it's you like go. There pretty, you go. It's like outdoor <sighs> brown very seedy, like extremely seedy, and pressed. And it tasted good, actually. It didn't I'll, taste like I'll crab. I'll it, in it a and little it bit more. And it actually burned really clean it. as well, so we were happy with that, because it was just like good, clean, outdoor, no adulterants or anything. Hmm. So that, that looks pretty good, but Not dang, bad. it better look, you know, that's Yeah, but this amount here, gold. the second time we picked up, this is what we got for the same price which was like maybe one and a half grams tops, two grams maybe. And we paid the same price, 130 bucks. Oh my God. 1,500 pesos. And then Ugh. the last time we met a really nice guy 
who liked Canadians, and uh, he gave us a really good deal, which was a quarter ounce for fifteen hundred pesos. Oh my so goodness. it really varies. Like I, Depends I don't on know, who you know if we could have bartered in that situation. We just didn't really want to <laughs> barter for our cannabis. I think that they know right. that that we won't. We just don't barter. It's not in well, our Well, I I bartered in our nature for so other much stuff there, but it just didn't seem like the thing to barter for. Hmm. Well, at that price, I would have bartered shit. I don't know. It's kind of scary though. I know. It's intimidating. But, you know, fuck. If you want weed, you yeah. got to do that sometimes, I guess. It's in true. in Jamaica, but it's like you can get like a pound for that for that price. <laughs> totally. As soon as you get bad, in your cab, he's like, here you yeah, go. Just, I got, I definitely got weed faster in Jamaica the first time I visited there than visiting uh, Amsterdam because you have to like mm-hmm. drive, you know, take the train to Amsterdam and then like go to the coffee shop. In in Montego Bay, you can just like get picked up at the airport and tell your taxi driver that you want some weed and he'll stop at like a little shack somewhere at least and pick you up like a pound in a black bag and just Duffy, give it to you. what do you have? <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a good time. Oh, and you know what? I actually uh, got another picture. There's a little bit of rustic culture in Mexico too. I got a there was. some cool pics. There this, was. This one? That is awesome. My nice. drug against war. It. It's so true. Yeah. So true. <laughs> oh, cannabis. I, I have to look twice when I first saw it. <laughs> oh. Yes, I actually. Yeah, um, I have that. I have it. Took the ferry over from Playa del Carmen over to Cozumel, which is. Um, there we go. This is cute. It's had people on the island like it's been I guess you could say colonized much before anything else in that area so it was like it's got a lot more history Mm. and it's a big um, cruise ship stop like for Caribbean cruises and stuff so there's lots of action there and we took we rented a scooter and rode it all around the island and this is a little bar Mm -hmm. and like store that was called the Rasta shop and there was a there is a statue of Bob Marley that I got a picture taken mm-hmm. with. I don't know if you got that one. I didn't. I, no, but that's, I really that's good. I don't really it. like that one. I didn't think so. you did. That's why. I didn't yeah. Show it. Yeah. But it's funny. There's a Bob Marley thing there. So yeah. that's that's cool. You know, Rasta culture. Yeah, and I looked all for over gifts the world. there, but you know, it was just the usual like Bob Marley towels and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. stuff. I think you can get that here. That's you know? true. I didn't want to buy any stupid touristy shit that you can just get, go to the store here and get. So. I didn't. Well, that's pretty cool though. I like yeah. that. Good, all in all picks. though, it was awesome. And it was a little short for me. Yeah, that's always <laughs> Even the though way that's with a vacations. Pretty, that's a pretty good length for a vacation. Yeah. And a lot of people only get a week, so I'm very fortunate. But still felt too short. Yeah, that's the way. You know you're having a good time and you want to stay extra time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. And our buddy Brian, uh, just got back from Toronto over the weekend as well. He was he was there for the uh, Global Marijuana March. And he took another video. He also did a really good video that we'll also probably show, the 420 sped up video. But if Mr. Marijuana Man wouldn't mind, if he's able, could he queue up the Global Marijuana March video for me? It's, it's kind of new. Hi, this is really an impressive Hi. event that happens every year. Okay, and Brian went to it. I didn't this time. 420, this was in... This is the Global Marijuana March in oh, Toronto. Oh, sorry. It's, 420 is not that big there, but this this is really big. So And it was as big as ever? Big as ever, I would say. Yeah, I've never actually seen the march myself. I'm always behind the booth waiting in, in the park. Yeah. But this time they didn't do the Queen's Park thing, so... Hmm. Yeah. Oh, because they didn't couldn't get their permit. That's right. There was no I'm permit. That's yeah, so a bit stupid. of controversy there. No permit. Too bad. I'm going to go get a lighter because I don't have any fire for which to spark this. So I'm going to transition to this clip now, and I hope you guys enjoy it. It's got some good music that I hope YouTube hasn't fucking cut off. Some last with 
March, Tirana. Pretty hefty, like, mm -hmm. turnout. Mm -hmm. Holy mm -hmm. smokes. I was super impressed with that when I saw the video. Whoa. I, I thought it ended at one point because it sort of peters out a little bit. It seems yeah. like they kind of got separated at one point. And then the river and then of this big, people. big, like, truck pulls up and there's, yeah. like, flooding the streets for a good crazy. few minutes. That's, that video was sped up, like, 200 times or something like that it's like pretty it's a bit faster than normal obviously <laughs> so the whole march itself took a good hour or two all in all because there was a, a lot of people that's a how deal. long is the route like is it just like a few blocks it's like or? queen's park and down i have a map i could huh. show you it's like like this usually i think it loops back to queen's park but they were supposed yeah. to like funnel out in the other direction but i think still people ended up going back and to then, queen's park and the yeah oh they road. did i think so yeah. okay that's, that's good i was gonna ask make. that next like mm -hmm. where did everyone go after yeah mm -hmm. so that's good but people weren't allowed to set up booths there so that's why we didn't like go with the booth brian was there with seats. loop back to queen's park yep yeah yeah See, it but I saw a map that showed people were supposed to, like, go away from the park and then down, as usual, yeah. and then, like, go away from the park and, like, go out into the streets as a dispersal area. That was stupid. I'm glad people mm. just went the other way. Like, yeah, totally. Common sense. Who wants to, like, disperse into a city street area? Yeah. 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 So that was good. And then um, I have a whole bunch of other videos because I finally got my hard drive working again. Yay! Did you show I got old videos? But did you get your old oh, computer no, but I back? Will. I will. You I got my old, GoPro like, not my old, old one. The one that you, like, no. were like, I better fucking get it back? But this, no, not the no. old, no. No, but I did get everything copied off of it, but the Mac people wouldn't give me back the original hard drive. Creep. Which creeped me out that's a lot. That's creepy. Like, really, guys? That's creepy. It's not very cool. But anyway, I got the information back, so I have a lot of videos that <laughs> yeah. were waiting to, like, be finished. Nice. And the 420 uh, Brian video worked out really good because he used, um, you know, what's it called when you take pictures? Time lapse. Yeah, that's it. He did time lapse cool. of it. And it's just set in one position, so it's not <coughs> it's cool. perfectly set, and it's like oh, 24 so hours. Was that like on a tripod, just on the ground? So 
he was in the hotel. Really? They actually did that. I yeah. heard them say oh, they were going to do that. You, said, you don't know this? I thought you were just playing along for the sake of the interview. Nope. Really, Cassie? Oh, no. Good. I'm glad you're filling you in it. on this action. What? I was gone. Oh, I wasn't so here. I left, I left for Mexico on 420, and then I was gone until... May first, and oh, well. just haven't even got any news. Like I haven't heard anything. She hasn't seen it. It's like I haven't even been here for two weeks, almost. Um, hey. Hey. <laughs> what the fuck? he's doing why he's on your lap he's catching the very last of the sun that he can <laughs> he doesn't actually want to be with you he's catching the reflection yeah that's that's the air. probably true probably true just kidding <laughs> well yep yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> sun's gone down it's getting kind of chilly <laughs> but it was a beautiful day here yeah. i gotta say I don't know how, what it's like across Canada, but it seems like... Actually, I heard from a guy that it was like 30-something in Saskatchewan today. Mm. Like, I don't even know what he said, like 33 or something crazy like that. Mm. I'm, I don't even know. That seems like really crazy. Mm. That would be nice, though, because my body got used to the 
Yeah, you know, mid thirties of Mexico, climatized and nice yeah. warmness. Totally. Yeah, it's lovely. I wish it didn't get so cold at night here. It stays really warm at night there, which was really awesome. You know what works instead of those air cannons? We got, well, I guess that is an air cannon. We got like a mushroom, mushroom, oh my God. Marshmallow cannon. Oh. Marshmallow gun. <laughs> yeah, the marshmallow gun. And yeah, that's like, that was fun. Those are you awesome. could Where is put that little thing? Bombs. I'm not telling you. <laughs> Becky hit it. But I think the the way it that works it works really it's well like for joints. Quite, it's like suctiony, so it's got to be something that won't like crumble apart when you like. Well, suck the tea bombs are surprisingly strong. Yeah, like they powder up a little bit on the outside, mm -hmm. but if you did them, but they would hurt. They'd be like a little bullet. But nonetheless, you could you could do it. You don't have to shoot yeah. it at people. No, no. It's just shoot it at the ground. <laughs> That's true. But I mean, it's just as easy to throw it or easier. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But it was fun shooting the marshmallows. Oh, you remember that air gun that I got that just shoots, like, a ball of air? I do remember that. Air cannon? The air cannon. Poor Duffy was so funny. Duffy didn't that like weird, that. That was a weird toy. It's weird. I took it home. I think it's just in a closet somewhere now. One, another of the useless toys that I bought and not used. <laughs> <laughs> it was entertaining for about five minutes. It was. And then I just started kind of tormenting the dog with it, so they made me take it home. <laughs> Duffy's not easy to scare, though. <laughs> you know, like, it, the dishwasher is, like, his biggest nemesis. Yeah. So I can see how the air cannon would be a little frightening. Well, yeah, it's like a ball of something that you can't see hitting you. Yeah. In the face. In the, <laughs> In the face. face. I like when he rests his chin on the table. Dog. Hello. Oh, you're so cute. Hi. Yeah, a lot of the pet the pet seed and stuff um, is not viable seeds. A lot of them have been irradiated. So you get you probably will get some viability, but not 100% viability. It's true. Or even like 50% viability. Mm -hmm. You can do like a wildflower mix or a pollinator blend or yeah. clovers make a good cover crop it's cheap and you can buy like a bag for like a pound so and poppies are pretty cheap like if you go wholesale through Victor's we buy like a big amount of poppies and they're not that expensive no so if you not. wanted to get a big amount and do that it wouldn't be hard yeah. and you can on that website Richter's they're based out of Ontario where I don't know Southern Ontario, so, I would yeah. presume. They um, they have a lot of different things that are rare, like that I wouldn't expect to find on like a mainstream seed bank website. Mm -hmm. Like, um, well, a lot of them have like medicinal purposes that are just like kind of frowned upon these days when Valerian they use them for medicine. Well, the the deturas, like all yeah. the nightshade family, mm -hmm. they have some like. Different. They actually used to sell salvia cuttings there. I and don't. They haven't had them in. Yeah, it doesn't stock look like they while. are anymore. What else? What's All the medicinal stuff. value of a nightshade, though? Like you're they really actually they extract chemicals like atropine and scopolamine are used in hmm. surgeries and stuff. Atropine is what they use to dilate your pupils right. when you go to the doctor for an eye exam. And you extract that from nightshades. Yeah, from usually like the belladonna, atropa oh. belladonna. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally. You don't just trip out on it. It's, no. It's used for oh, yeah, it's, people. Seriously. And it's actually got some pretty, like, amazing mm. medical properties when they're used by, like, a trained herbalist. Um, but it's, a, huh. it's like, it's a variable thing because different uh, plants will have different potencies and stuff. So you can't, like, pinpoint the dosage very easily. Mm. And that's why it's kind of not so good to use them because unless you really know the potency... You might it's give to too much, the and dose. it can be bad. So, huh? Yeah. But nonetheless, pretty amazing stuff, though. Yep. Oh, another blunt. Yep. So we got some detura. It looks like we got some new kind. I noticed. Yeah, it's the I, Yeah, we got um, the detura furox, I believe. Mm -hmm. That sounds like it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that one. I don't really know the story too much. That's just what they had available right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good stuff. 
large varieties. We got some greenhouse back in stock too. I don't know if anybody cares about that out there. But yeah, we got some. Um, sized. Yeah. <laughs> we got an order for him too. <laughs> That's how you say it. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Well, mm-hmm. <laughs> screw greenhouse. Why? Why do you say that? <laughs> oh, Barney's. Well, Barney's is, is good too. It is yeah. good. We're going to get Barney's back in. Um, I made an order today for Tangerine Dream, mm. Critical Kush, Blue Cheese, Blue Cheese, <laughs> Dr. Grinspoon. That other one that I forget. Red Dragon? No. Because no. we still, that one didn't really sell it that didn't. much. People weren't no. that stoked on Vanilla Kush, yes. Yes. I did order that one. There was like a pineapple something. Pineapple um, Express? That's not no, what it was called. It was pineapple <laughs> chunk. Pineapple chunk. Pineapple, pineapple chunk. chunk. That sounds good. I so like Barney's, pineapple. we're going to get that in probably by Thursday or Hopefully, Friday. Hopefully, yeah. It's all been ordered, so it's on the way. Femicides, five per pack, $85. TGA is being sold in Washington dispensaries. Oh, that's good. That's good. I'm pretty sure that he's in, like, Subcool is in... They're in, They're all around. The US, yeah, they? I think so. Yeah. They have, so, yeah, that makes sense. They have outlets in the U.S. And we actually do get um, Cali Connection, and they're a California-based company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's some American genetics that we get. Pretty Kush heavy. And uh, honestly, people are kind of getting tired of the Kush, I think. Yeah, I've noticed. Mm -hmm. But I like I like to smoke it personally. I like but it I don't, once in a while. Yeah, just not all the time. It's good to switch it up. Mm -hmm. I'm totally hogging the blunt here. No, that's. I'm in the middle, so I'm getting double. I think. Middle man. Ashley's over there. No. No, she's not. Harper is a fucking ass clown. So true. We have a sign that says that in our window, actually. Um, Opus made it for us. And people mm. stop and take pictures of it all the time. It's a stop <laughs> sign. And it says, Stop Harper, Ass Clown. <laughs> people are like, We like your sign. And we hear that a lot. Yeah. Harper with his big friend, Ass Clown, <clears throat> his Nazi face. Mm. Someone's talking about Afghani Bull Rider. Oh, I couldn't get tired of Afghani Bull Rider. Well, yeah. You know, I just don't think that you should smoke the same thing. You'll get a tolerance no matter what yeah. if you're smoking it. And then yeah. if that's what you want, like I remember Michelle used to say she liked the bull rider because it didn't get her high. It just like did all the things medicinally that she wanted and then, that, and then it didn't get her high. So mm -hmm. if that's sometimes that's what people want. Totally. So I can see that. I can see that. It is a tasty strain. It's very fruity. Burmese. Like Burmese. Yeah, I Burmese. used to, like, I remember when it was like just totally coveted and it only we were only able to like maybe smoke a joint of it every mm -hmm. once in a while mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it was really really amazing and I was like really blown away by it because it was just unlike anything else that I've ever seen grown it was just grown so nicely and stuff yeah, yeah. but then grown with love when it started coming around more often it just wasn't as nice because it wasn't you know yeah. didn't have the same caretaker anymore so yeah. It totally varies. Oh my god, my cousin is watching. Grower. Well, small world. <laughs> Hi, Chris. <laughs> Explain how Kish and other early crops were. Well, Kish is shishkaberry, and it's an old school outdoor British Columbia strain that's been yeah, bred to finish early here. Yeah. It's a hardy strain. Yeah. So I think it's really just a matter of breeding, right? That yeah. selectively picking strains yeah. that are going to finish. Time. And Shishkaberry Kish is how what Cash Crop Ken calls it now because he's yeah. been working with it, so he calls it Kish. But the genetics are the same as Afghani Blueberry, which are two like quick strains to begin with. Mm -hmm. Fruity and delicious. And that's how mm. those work. Yeah. <laughs> and it seems to really like have those characteristics really strongly because everything that you would cross it with kind of has that same thing going on it all they become really quick and super just like stocky and awesome yeah. wrong way oh i'm sorry <laughs> i knew yeah. i was gonna do that don't ever put me you in know the i'm really getting <laughs> frustrated and upset that we don't have kish available right now i know i apologize on behalf of cash crop Ken. it's not your I fault just... Bex, but 
I know. I it's bad timing. It's definitely it. bad timing. Maybe From who? People wanting it. Yeah. People, of course, yeah. people want it. I want it. it. Isn't that enough? Asking new for my name. Uh, the new uh, kiss. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And this time of year too, like springtime, of course, people want it. Start it now. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't and any promising. later than this time in the next couple of weeks, basically, it's gonna. If, even if it does show up, we'll be like, well, thanks. Yeah. It's too late now. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but we got Kootenai Mountain. So hopefully, that's good. just taking the time to make it extra special for the next batch. It'll be better than ever. Same with Doctor Atomic. Extra special. <laughs> Doctor Atomic too. Yes. <sighs> so, well, guys, it's like five twenty-three. That's close to an hour. Yeah. The sun is setting here, so it's probably about time for us to wrap it up. Yep. There is no weed that's like doing speed and drinking alcohol. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> if you want to do speed and drink alcohol or have that effect, then just do those things. Just but be preferably not together and in a safe environment. <laughs> yeah, with your friends and loved ones. And don't drive. And don't, and drive. don't drive. Just take a taxi. Most of the taxi drivers have speed anyway, so they, they sympathize. Yeah. Yeah, not mm -hmm. even really Kush. No. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, Alright. Have a good evening, everybody. Bye. See Bye, you next Chris. time. See you next Love Monday. You. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Cassie. I'm glad to join you. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. How's it going? I'm out in the VSB garden, and there's an echo, <coughs> but it's gone now. I'm smoking. Hey guys, hey out there in chat land. Nice to see you all. I'm about to roll a big blunt, eh? I'm in Vancouver at the moment, downtown, Vancouver, BC, believe it or not. This is the backyard of the <laughs> seed bank. I'm getting the last of the sun right now. I'm forcing myself to sit directly in the light, and I don't care if I have to squint absorbing the last vitamin D goodness. Um, do you guys know what bud this is that we got today? Uh, Bubba Kush, I believe. It's Bubba Kush, we believe. That's what we told. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And I'm going to roll Blunty, as is the tradition. Taking out the old pom-pom. I got Cassie here with me for a little bit too today because um, she went on a little trip to Mexico and she had some really awesome adventures and uh, I thought you guys would want to hear about it and I jacked some of your pictures too from Facebook. Ooh, exciting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I get to look at them again. Yeah and we're gonna try out an experimental thing that I have right now it's kind of fun like it's a program that I can kind of manipulate the video a little bit. Hmm. Cam twist. We wow. can do some fun like funny faces effects perhaps like okay. maybe bubbles i don't Ooh. know if this is going to actually work or not but what, oh, what oh my goodness oh my gosh pop pop yes pop. yes bubbles just for your entertainment people <laughs> i give I you pretend, bubbles i can pretend i'm snorkeling again yeah this is the underwater part <laughs> i want you guys to make bubble hash and be inspired by this mm -hmm. that's right that's right um, but seriously, um, I do have this thing where I can show pictures on here. I just gotta find it. There's all kinds of fun stuff. We can do like fish eye and flip flop. Mm. I can put a halo over your head. I'm an angel. Wait. Wait, I gotta move it a little bit and I can put it over you. Oh, there you go. Oh, Cassie. Wow, it's perfect. Yeah, this is you. It fits me perfectly. Yeah, you do so well with that. <laughs> all right. Oh, image overlay. I've already got it set up for myself. Oh, and I erased it by actually. Oh, there that's we go. Okay. Image overlay. Here we go. Okay, so let me see, Hizzle, if we can do this. i close down some shit so I can see my desktop. Oh, I so, just oh that's okay. It. Cassie, tell us how like, long you were in Mexico and stuff. Give us a well, little rundown of how it I, went for you. I was gone for 12 days, but I spent 10 full days in uh, vacation.